Hey, good afternoon. George Cavaligos for Dragon Slayer. I made it back finally. Well, interesting day it sure looks like. Uh, I think the yen's leading the way higher here. We had a uh, move right up to resistance in the tenure, right against the old broken uh, uptrend line at 128.30. And then a, big, a bit of a dip off of there, back down to what, 128.20 uh, again. And now we're firming up. I think we need to go retest the highs probably here. The yen trade, we had a big break last night and it's been going higher all day again. Um, somebody I talked to today said that the commitment of traders data showed five year record number of shorts in the yen. So watch out for a higher high there. And if the yen goes higher, it'll drag the treasuries higher with it. I think we, at minimum, will have to go and retest today's high, and I would not be surprised to see us go right back up and test that 130.02 high again here at some point. The wave counts are not real clear. <clears throat> I'm still trying to discern if the sell-off was three waves down on the hourly or whether it was five, and how this rally shapes up here on uh, the move up. Right now, it looks like we've got three wave, fourth wave done, and we're, working, we're gonna start working higher in a fifth wave. So I want to watch how this rally plays out. Um, I think if it's a fifth wave, we could go retest that 130.02 high. You know, the wave count right now, there's a couple different possibilities, and I don't see a great trade at the moment. I would say try a small long here, stop below that 128, 18, 19 support area, and look for a retest at least of 128.30 and probably a little bit higher than that before you want to take profits. That would be my short term trade overnight. Got to see how this thing pans out. There's divergences everywhere, momentum, um, volume. There's divergences in the equity markets. The S&P made new highs today and the NASDAQ didn't. It looks like it's still in some kind of corrective phase. So um, don't press. You know, hopefully if you had some shorts on from Friday, you were able to cover last night on the new lows. Let today's bullish reversal play out. You know, if you're keeping 24-hour charts, it's a bull reversal on the daily chart here, and we should see a move up a little bit here. So that's the game plan short term. Uh, hopefully no more car problems. Um, we'll see how uh, <laughs> the, 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 the old jinx on my car works out at this point. Um, that's about it. Uh, have a great night. I'll be right back at it tomorrow morning with the email. And hopefully this picture will clear up fairly soon. You know, we're, uh, what, into the second quarter of the year. This is the last scheduled quarter for Operation Twist. Sometime over the next three months, we lose 40% uh, volume buyer if the Fed stops. Operation Twist, that is and maybe we get back to a more normal environment. Remember, if you look at the bonds and uh, the S&P overlay, the last time the S&P was up here, the bonds had a 120 handle. I think if we took the Fed out of the equation, we would be trading bonds down near a 120, high 120s uh, handle at this point. So let's pray for less government intervention and less uh, manipulation of our markets so things will get back to a more normal environment here. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.